Doan Mudbrick Architecture Foundation was founded in 2007 thanks to the sponsorship of Abdullah Ahmed Saeed Bukshan, who serves as chair of the board of our foundation. Uh, he gave me the go-ahead to start this foundation and it was with the assistance and collaboration of two enthusiastic and hard-working colleagues I have in Yemen, Dr. Abdullah Ghmiyan and Ali Basad, that we put this together, the three of us. One of our first major projects was in Masna'at Aura in Doan, and several projects quite as important uh, proceeded from there on, and these you can find on our website. Over the last two years, the Prince Klaus Fund and the Cultural Emergency Response received funding from the Cultural Protection Fund and the British Council in order for us to reconstruct some of the most important edifices and landmarks that were destroyed during the war on Yemen between 2015 and 2017. And that is still ongoing. Last year, we managed to restore four projects extremely successfully, and the success of these led us to engage in another four projects that we have been carrying on and still ongoing. Shaklanza Mosque in Al Shahar Hadramut. As a result of the country's war and economic crisis, the monuments of Hadramut have, over the last decades, been marginalized, abandoned, and forgotten. The mosque known as Al Zahir remained a distinguished cultural and architectural landmark. Constructed in mud brick and stone, it was selected for reconstruction after an appeal from the local community. Throughout all the reconstruction projects, volunteers from the School of Architecture, University of Hadramut in Mukalla, participated in training on the building sites with the aim of raising awareness to the importance of architectural skills and extant natural resources in the region. Al Habib Abu Bakr domes in Al Shahar Hadramut. Two ancient domes located in the central region of Al Shahar, dating back to around CE 1397-98, were reconstructed. The building materials were entirely locally sourced from the area and locale. This contributes to the environmentally viable and ecologically sound building systems in Hadramut and the rest of Yemen. Ismail Mosque and Domes in Al Shahar Hadramut. A collection of historic domes dating back to over 100 years were reconstructed. Most of the stone used in the reconstruction was collected on site from the debris of the edifices, minimizing waste, and freshly made bricks were remixed on site from the cleaned remaining rubble. An innovative use of materials was producing the water-resistant plaster called saruj, made of crushed fired clay mixed with lime and sand. Reintroducing this traditional resilient product for the building finishing processes ensures the sustainability, protection of structures, the climatic response, and interaction with the natural environment. Sheikh Ya'oub Dome in Mukalla Hadramut. The ancient dome where Sheikh Ya'oub bin Yusuf bin Ali was buried dates back to CE 1158-59. The largest and oldest cemetery in Hayil Bilad in Mukalla was built around the dome in CE 1745-46. The distinguished Sufi shrine, the Sheikh Ya'oub Dome, 
is a landmark and focal point of Mukalla's old quarter and cemetery. It was one of the first targeted and blown up shrines. Al Mahjoub Dome in Mukalla Hadramut. The tombs of Al Habib Ahmad Mohsen Al Haddar, alias Al Mahjoub, and that of his wife were destroyed and desecrated in 2015, located in the district of Al Salam in Mukalla. The dome was reconstructed with the traditional building techniques and systems. Sheikhan Dome in Mukalla Hadramut. The reconstructed dome of the Wali Al Habib Sheikhan bin Ali bin Hashim Al Sagaf was destroyed and the tombs desecrated in 2015. The British Governor's Headquarters in Mukalla Hadramut. The complex was constructed in the 1930s during the British colonial period, serving till 1966 as His Majesty's Governor's Headquarters and as residence. The building was subjected to destruction, looting and set on fire. The ceilings of the first two floors collapsed and the building was left in an exposed and precarious state. Funding has covered the emergency phase of the project, reinforcing and consolidating the central building. The Kuwaiti Palace, Museum and Center for Archaeological Research in Mukalla Hadramut. The project scope involved working with the museum director and team to develop a security plan to safeguard and record the museum's collection and to assist in setting up the galleries and exhibits with an educational program in consultation with an international specialist and curator. تبدا العملية من المخزن ناخذ القطع من المخزن تروح القطع مباشرة إلى داخل المتحف القطعة تدخل تاخذ ترقيم معين تصور تاخذ ترقيم معين تنظف يتم تصويرها فريق مختص تاخذ القطعة المصورة إلى فريق إعداد الاستمارة طريق من تعبير الاستمارات يقوم بتعبير الاستمارة أخذ المقاسات القطعة تعبير الاستمارة الخاصة المعدة لذلك ومن ثم تعود القطعة مرة أخرى إلى موقع حلصي The beauty of the completed, well-built sites and domes celebrates the restitution of this important culture and lends new hope in regenerating the war-torn heritage. Finally, the importance of all of this is not to restore sites that have been destroyed, it's more to 
drive home the conviction that this architecture is an important architecture for the future.